Hello, my name is Chip Brown. I teach computer programming and Microsoft Office applications classes at a local business college, Stephen Seneger College here in Utah. I also create practice tests for Microsoft Office application specialist program. Today we're going to learn how to create a form or a report based upon filtered records. Microsoft Access is a registered trademark of Microsoft Corporation. I am not affiliated with Microsoft Corporation. To create a form or a report which is based upon filtered records, it is important to understand that the table that you create the form or report on can be filtered very easily using the objects in Microsoft Access. Here let's begin with the Northwind Traders database. We'll choose the object customers. Here is a query of the customers table that shows all records without any filter added. Now let's add the filter. The filter can be added by clicking on the column that you want to filter and select the value or values that you would like to display. I've selected Purchasing Manager as the job title. In doing that, it filters out all other values. This is the filtered query. It has not yet been saved, but it will be saved while we create the report that's based upon it. Now let's create the report. On the Create tab, in the Reports group, click Report. Here is the prompt that says that the table that I was working with, the filtered query, has not yet been saved as a new object. I'll click Yes. That new object was saved and this is the report which has the filtered records of that new object. It too is an object. You can see that only purchasing managers are showing up on this report. This is how you create a report from filtered data records. For more information, visit me, Chip Brown, at chipbrown.com, C-H-I-P. B-R-O-W-N-E dot com.